hot, hot, hot. Wow! Alam mo, kaya hindi ako sumasayos lalo, nawawala ako eh. If you adjust this, so umaanga to. So right now, we're gonna be doing a quick little slalom to see how the car behaves. Hindi na lang ako yung mag-charge ng phone ko like me. As a on-road girly. Naeengot-engot. Teka lang, masikap. I need to see where I'm going. Ayan. I'm just talking. And you're, if you're still watching, what the frick are you doing with your life? Okay guys, so today we're with the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. So this is already the fifth generation and it looks so different, na, diba? Let's go, let's check it out. So this is the top spec variant. This is a 2.5 liter turbo mated to an 8-speed DCT. So this is the calligraphy model. It looks really good, really aggressive and it looks so boxy na. So, really nice for this mid-size SUV. Here, starting with the front, we get a blacked-out grill. And we have a light bar running across the grill. H-pattern, LED headlights, and DRLs. That was, I like how ano, everything is so boxy and so H with this car. So, and daming H-pattern details. Ayun, no? H dito, H din yung bumper, and everything. And we also have this active grill that opens when it turns on and off. Looks so good. Okay, now let's move on to the side. We have 21 inch alloy black ink wheel. So this is wrapped in 245 21s. Big boy. All wheel disc brakes, of course. Power fold side mirrors with a repeater. So let's step back. This is what it looks like. Ayan. Ang ganda ng gar and ng black garnish ababa, ano. So nice. So, and here on top, we get a roof rail. So, dito sa taas, it can carry up to 100 kilograms of weight. And let me show you this super cute thing. So, kung gusto mo umakit sa taas, you have this pillar assist. So, if you push this, ayan. So, you can grip it and then aakit ka dito. And then, pwede ka na umakit dito sa taas. So, it's hidden, no? Tingnan mo. So, ganun siya. Whoop! So cute. Very nice. Okay, now let's move on to the rear real quick. Over here at the back, we will continue the blacked out stuff, blacked out Hyundai logo, and the Santa Fe script. So you know that it's the top of the line when it's here, 2.5T, which with H-Track. So H-Track is basically Hyundai speak for all-wheel drive. So over here at the rear, we get LED taillights. Very nice. And it's not twin exhaust. I like that. I miss the nag-iisa lang and hindi OA. That's really cute. And it's super nice. So, this is handle ng trunk aperture. And it's a power tailgate. So, you just have to click here and it's gonna open like this. Yeah, power tailgate. What a sleigh. Then, ask ko muna yung third row. So, this is how much space we have with all the seats upright. So, chini for scale. So, mababa. Actually, tina mo yung lip. Pababa siya. It's not really a lip. It's actually a slope downwards. So, this is very convenient if you wanna tambay dito sa likod. Ayan, even with the third row up, it's a comfy place to be in. Ayan, it's so spacious. So yeah, definitely a tambay car. It's fresco here. Tapos ito pati naman, you can rest your feet dito sa ledge. Okay, now let's close it again. Power tailgate and this is the controls. It's over there. Ayan, so it makes life so much easier talaga pag power tailgate. Okay, now let's look under the bonnet. How do I, how do I open the bonnet? This one. Bag. Okay. Okay, so under the... Woo! Hot, hot, hot. Whoa! Yes! Gastrat. That made life so easy. It's actually, you know, nag idle siya, so mainit. So what's nice is everything is easy to reach. Our coolant is over here. Windshield washer. Our dipstick is over here. Turbo is over there. Brake fluid. Battery. Fuse box. And what's also nice is your favorite part, ko. So the struts are actually tied to each other, na. So this makes the chassis very stiff. It makes for a very nice handling car. Ayan, very sleigh. Okay, that's it for under the bonnet. Now let's move on inside. Here we have keyless entry. Ayan. The keys inside the car running, so I can't show you. So let's start with the door before I get in. So here we have memory seats. So these are power seats, by the way. And this one has relaxed mode. So you see this ottoman. Ayan. So if you adjust this, so umaanga to. So you can sleep and chill in your car while waiting for whatever or for whatever reason you might need to do that. Yes, you have that. So for the 2.5T calligraphy 
na model. This one is wrapped in Napa leather. It's so soft, so supple. Nice to touch. Okay, now let's get in. Alright, so this is what it looks like on the inside. So starting with the wheel, we have an amply sized wheel. So here for the wheel controls, we have our cruise control stuff over here. And then here are infotainment controls. So this one has adaptive cruise control with stop and go function. And look at our instrument cluster. It's so nice. And you can also customize this and you can also change it depending on the drive mode. Here we have a wide view panoramic display. So this is a 12.3 inch infotainment system. This is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible already. So that's really nice. And moving downwards, we have our panel for aircon controls. I like that it's not in the screen. Now it's its own panel. So here we have our hazard button smack dab in the middle, our volume knob, and we have our infotainment some more infotainment controls over here. And for our seats, they're actually also ventilated and heated. And here we have our drive mode buttons. Again, ang ganda niya kasi it's integrated to this bar lang. It's not OA. So for drive modes, we have the basic stuff. We have eco, normal, sport, and my drive. My drive is basically you set like your drive mode to how heavy your steering is or basta yung customized one. And as for terrain, so since this is all-wheel drive and we have terrain, so we have snow, mud, and sand. Okay, now moving downwards here, we have double wireless charging pads. So, hindi na lang ako yung mag-charge ng phone ko, pati yung katabi ko pwede na rin mag-charge ng phone. Ayan, or charging already, so I'll leave that charging muna. And here we have two Type-C plugs. And then you may be wondering, ano tong UVC thing? So actually, ito, tong cubby na to. This is a UVC sterilizer. And then you're, if, to turn this on, you're just gonna click this and it's gonna run for 10 minutes. So since this car was designed during the pandemic, this is something they thought would be important and useful or makakadagdag sa quality of life ng people. If you're gonna sterilize something, dito siya sa cubby na to. Tapos ito ang wireless charging indicator natin. So you know if your phone's charging or not. Tapos over here, sa, beside our drive modes pala, here we have auto hold. So yes, this has auto brake hold. And here we have our hill descent assist. And here we have our parking camera. So if you click this, ayan. So there are a lot, like a lot of views. So there are three major views. And then after that, you have a lot of, ayan, options pa of how you wanna look at it. So very useful. So talagang kampante ka to drive with this car. And you know what? This has four parking sensors. So front and rear, pati sa sides, may parking sensor. So you're not gonna be worried na it's a big car. Okay, now moving downwards, we have two cup holders or over here, amply sized. And we have this center console na box. So what's special about this is it's bi-directional. So usually, you open your center console like this, diba? Okay, center console. Normal center console. Pero here's the magic. Saran natin. This is the magic. Pwede mo rin siya buksan from the rear. So, kunyari, meron kang uutusan sa likod, yung RFID mo nandito. Pwede mo utusan yung mga tao sa likod na sila na mag-load ng RFID kasi they have quick access, diba? One thing I like about the Santa Fe is, kunyari, as a driver, you wanna adjust the seat here or may lalagay kang whatever or kailangan mo siya usog. You actually have quick access to the power seat ng passenger mo. So, ayan, you just click that. It's moving na. Oop. You know, moving downwards, tingnan nyo to. We have a really deep cubby over here and a 12 volt socket over here. Ayan, actually, dami malalagay. Oh. Sobrang deep niya. How deep is your love? Ganon. So now that we've so shown you everything here in the middle, nasaan yung shifter? Andito siya, ayan. So this is column shift by wire. Hindi na siya shifter or buttons dito sa gitna. So for this one, to operate this, all you have to do is twist the knob, twist it up to put it in drive, twist it down to put it in neutral, and down again for reverse. And to park it, ayan, you have to click this. So this is the parking button. Okay, now you may be wondering, nasaan ang handbrake? So, andito siya, guys. This is the parking brake. Our traction control is also here. And our trunk opening. 
I just wanna point out, ang cute, ang ganda nung ano, nung mood lights niya. Pati dito sa ilalim ng screen, there, there's a mood light. It's hard to see lang kasi it's really bright. So, this is also customizable. Right now, it's purple. Very bagay. So, moving to the side. Again, this is the sterilizer. And then, meron ka pang cubby over here na pwede mo patungan ng gamit. And, you have your glove box over here. So, it's pretty spacious. There's a lot of storage. And I don't know if you can see it, but here we have a heads-up display. Yung the little dot, hindi siya masyado nag-show up sa camera, but meron siyang heads-up display. Pretty useful. Okay, now time for the chini test. Dun sa sun visor, may ilaw ba? Boom! So may, may ilaw siya dito that you have to open. Ayan, so I can do my makeup. Sorry, kasi bagong-bago, meron pa siyang plastic. But yes, ayan, may ilaw. We can do our makeup here. Slay! Now, moving on to the center, we have our sunroof controls. If you're wondering back at front and rear, it's actually dun, 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 dual sunroof. Ayan, for the extra aliwalas. This makes the green glass really good. So again, in, in our door handle, we have our door stuff, our usual door, ha door, door controls, and also bottle holder and cubby. Okay, now let's move on to the passenger side. It's a bit warm. Okay, now moving on to the second row. Ayan. So, on our door, we have our window control, seat heater. And look at this. We have our sunshade. It's actually too bright right now. So, let's put this up para hindi tayo overexposed mamaya. It's actually quite maluwag. And let me just close the door. It's a bit noisy and bright. Okay. So, over here, we have this much knee space. So, this is with my regular driving position. So super luwag pa actually. And as for the headroom, I whoop, that's a lot. Whoop. So here at the second row, it's actually quite spacious. Here we have our center armrest, cup holders. So you may be wondering, kasha bang third person dito? Yes. Wala masyadong transmission tunnel hump, which I like. And again, let's appreciate our bi-directional center console. Ayun, tingnan nyo. Pwede nga talaga natin buksan from the rear. So, that's really special. And ito, pag may tatago kang stuff, meron ka pang drawer cubby dito. And look, ang lalim mo. Tingnan mo, tingnan mo. Let me put my phone inside for scale. So, this is how tall my phone is. Ayan, ganun siya kalalim. That's crazy. Over here, we have seat pockets. And here's our front seats. We get two type C outlets for the passenger and driver side. And looking at the door, the material and daming soft touch material. And I love the mixed material, like this brushed finish, blacked out door handles. Oh my god, the box ko. Wait, ko lang. Ayan. Oh, look at that door thought. That sounded so good. And we have a bottle holder over here. So here we get two cup holders. So you can have two sorts of drinks. And for privacy and for against the sun, we actually get a sunshade. Oh my god, andito si editor son. So usually, hindi tayo maabot sa likod, but the Santa Fe has a third row. So let's go check it out. Okay, for this one, you have to get out, fold the seat, and get in the third row. So to fold down the seat, you just have to click this. Oop! Ayan. So not much leg room dito sa third row if naka-full recline. Ayan. This is how tight it is. Pero if the, if the second row compromises with you, may leg room din naman. So here at the back, we have our very own aircon controls. Two cup holders, just like the second row. For side, by the way. And aircon tayo inate. Eh. Oh my gulay, the rear AC. This is a sleigh. And we also get a Type C port here. So, diba? You can charge your devices, you can chill here at the back. Just a really a bit tight. Okay, now if you're wondering how we're gonna get out, all you have to do is click this button and the seat's gonna go back to the folded position. Ayan, so naka release position na tayo, labas na daw tayo. And then door handles easy to reach. Ayan, easy to get done by myself or in naman. Ah, okay, slay. Okay, so that's it for walk around. Now let's go to the driving part. Alright, so right now we're driving the top spec. So this is the 2.5 Turbo Calligraphy. And oh my god, palavan and lambot. So first of all, ergonomics, it's so easy to see out of. And we have a lot of 360 camera features. And it's super easy to tancha. Kite big boy siya. Oh my god, ang coffee nyo. Ulang mo sobi, ang coffee. It's super tahimik. And VH is really good. 
Makoy, kamusta ka dyan sa likod? Hindi ako nahihilo here, in all fairness. Ganon, oh see guys, so comfy. And honestly, the interior feels like it's a premium Euro car, but this is the Hyundai Santa Fe. So for the 5th gen, they really leveled up with this car. So the suspension is super compliant, it's not under damped at all. Just right, the shock is tuned to the spring so well. I don't know what I'm saying, because I'm just happy with driving experience. This is one of those. So as for the engine, this is a 2.5 liter turbo. So this is the only variant that comes with the turbo. So the two other variants are 2.5 liter NAs. And apparently, they're going to be releasing a hybrid model later this year. So I'm super excited for that. So this is mated to an 8-speed DCT. So that's gonna be super quick shifting. Well, we can try it right now. We're off road, right? And yeah. So this comes in at 3.1 million. For the price, you get a lot of features. Take a long musicap. I need to see where I'm going. Ayan. Does meron ba tayo 360 view? Oh, tingnan yun. So the, really, this car is very confidence-inspiring, and all the tech just makes it all the more easier to handle. Like, I can just hand this to my sister level of confidence. So if you guys like this video so far, like, comment, subscribe, or you, if you can also follow us on our other socials, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. As for our terrain modes, so we get snow, mud, and sand, and we also get auto. So siya na bahala mag-adjust. So that's really useful. Lalo na if you don't really know what you need. <laughs> like me, as a on-road girly. Na engot engot. So right now we're gonna be doing a quick little slalom to see how the car behaves. But ayan, sige, let's go. So first of all, ergonomics is really good. Turn radius is good. Okay, we're gonna do a quick slalom over here. A chicken chicken muna tayo. Okay. So not much body roll. I really appreciate that. Wow, actually so so stable, so planted. Shock spring combo is amazing. So comfy. Feeling ko ano pag ano pang tita car ko to pero ano cool tita ko dito. Okay, so we're gonna do an acceleration and braking thing right now. So this is 2.5 liter turbo mated to an 8-speed DCT. Ayan. Drive mode. Ay. I go to sport. Yeah, it's sport mode. It's pretty quick shifting. Hard break. Hard break. ABS is also pretty good. That was solid. Tapos naga hazard siya when you emergency brake. So this is to tell people behind you, oh wait, I'm emergency stopping. Like this is a lot of braking that's happening. Ayan, and then it goes off when you're okay na. Feels good. So on road, it's really good. It doesn't feel like such a big car. Like visibility wise, it you know you, you see everything. You have cameras to assist you, parking sensors, and yun yeah, easy to handle. So yeah, overall the car is really good. Ten out of ten with daily this. Lalo na with the Manila traffic, it's super comfy. Tas Manila baha pa, de ba? Ayon. So if you're that type of person, this might just be the car for you. Anyway, see you next time. I'm not going to go to the bot. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not going to go to the bot. 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 